Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to meet our fighters. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man has a record of two wins, one defeat, representing DCMA and Wolfpack. It's George Williams. And his opponent standing across the cage. Fighting out of the red corner, this man making his debut in the cage, representing UTC Birmingham, it's Andy Spaker! Getting ready for our eighth fight of the evening, an amateur middleweight contest. Andy Baker in the red corner, making his amateur debut, fighting out of the UTC in Birmingham. Taking on George Williams, Wolfpack MMA, DCMA. George fighting on home sorry, show, George, I believe. Yeah, Williams used to fight at light heavy as well, and he's dropped down to middleweight, so it'll be interesting to see how he does it at middleweight. Two good gyms here as well, of course. We've already seen UTC have, have a good bit of success tonight. Absolutely. And DCMA, Wolfpack, guys like Jai Herbert, Jay Haynes. Dan Casso. I don't see what, hap I don't uh, see what happens there. I uh, th th think it's a w just uh, that reminder. Can't extend your fingers anymore. Nothing towards the eyes. Good. That's good. I like to see that. Fingers towards the ceiling now. Yeah, we like to see that. It's a bit ironic, really, after we see what happened, of course, with Cassell, the matchmaker. We've seen what happened with him at Bama with an eye poke. Absolutely. So. An eye poke ended the match, and we get a, you know, a majority draw as a result. A result nobody wanted. No one wants to see a fight like that. A, a hook kick. Oh, but he eat. He does the spinning technique, and he eats a couple of nice shots there from Andy Baker, who's not fussed at all. I tell you what, I've seen Williams fight before. I saw him fight Rhino Daly. We just watched, and the amount of punishment he he took in that fight, he can he can absorb punishment, and he just keeps on coming back. He's a very tough kid, is Williams. He's very durable, but it can't be good to keep taking those shots, of course. But very, very good by Baker. Landing a few days. All right, again, again through bunches and bunches. Williams nice takes it in his stride and yeah. he just swings back. It's a nice combination, though, and then he backs out. He steps away. With it being Baker's debut as well, though, Landon puts out like that's going to give him confidence. You don't want to let your opponent Oh, get that was a monstrous kick. Yeah. And he acknowledged it. I think the end is coming. That oh, is but he steps huge. back. Oh. Showing some patience. I thought he was... I thought the end was coming there. He looked really, he looked visibly rocked then, he, but he seems to have laughed it off and he's back again and he's come out like like he's not been hit. All right, again, that he rocked again. Hook, he rocked beautiful. Again, then. Baker's looking very good. He's oh, again, very that. impressive. Williams just takes it in his stride. He does just smile and keep coming forward, but never, never the best defense to use your forehead is the shield. Absolutely not. And it's oh, it's something. a big kick to the body as well. Can't pick the leg after it to try and get the takedown. Yeah, I think they're starting to take an impact. Absolutely, on he's slowing down already. He looks a little bit dazed. But he but catches the foot, tries to sweep the, the back leg. Threw a spinning back fist there as well, which just fell a bit short. Still game. Yeah, uh, Baker's looking very good. And I think he's just going to get stronger with his confidence. Absolutely, I mean, the hands look very good. Yeah, Again, two, three, three punch combination, throws and more. And more. Oh, but, uh, but he's, he really just has that puncher's chance right now. But Williams just circles away like nothing. Yeah, he, he just steps back. I was in a bad position, so what? What I'm really, really pleased to see, though, is Baker's not rushing. He's not letting his, and he smiles as he eats another three punch combination. How, so, you're Baker, you're on your debut. You, you're obviously out punching this lad. You're landing punch after punch after punch. You threw your best shots at him and he smiles at you. Yeah, you, you know, again, but it's a, a, mark of, it's a mark of the camp, a mark of the com confidence that he's not rushing, not getting frustrated. But yeah, that thought, like, what am I going to have to hit him with has got to be crossing his mind. He looks very good. I mean, for, again, this is his amateur debut and he looks like a vet in there. He yeah, looks, he's, he's very... He's, the way he's throwing his punches, he's... Very good on, with the punches. He flows very nicely. Again, the combinations are so important. And he's going to get, again, you know, he's going to the guy... This is this is Williams' fourth fight. That's... Yeah. Doesn't matter win or lose, that experience can count for a lot. But right now, nothing. No, uh, and he's... 
it's, it's, his technique on his striking is, is fantastic. The way he's getting his guard back and because obviously Williams is throwing the swinging punches and, and you throwing. don't want to get caught with that. No. So you've got to get your hands back. You've got to get yourself covered and he's doing it. Very, and again, another very exciting first round. I think the corner for Williams there telling him maybe not quite so much. Uh, not, not, don't show so, you can take so much quite so Absolutely, often. Absolutely, because it doesn't matter how much you take. If, you, if you're not throwing back, you're going to be losing the round. And if you don't get that finish, it's going to cost you. Here we go, round two, touch of gloves. Let's see what, if Williams can change things up or if he's just going to carry on blocking the punches with his face. Yeah. Again, Baker looking for, but you know, we say that, but it's not, he's always come forward with it. It's, it's, he's, he's eaten a shot and come forward and Accidental low yeah, blow there. Yeah, <laughs> accidental low blow. So you can hurt Williams. Yes. You can't punch him. You can't, you've got to kick him to the kick, groin. Kick him in the groin and he'll go down. Okay. That's that. I'm, I'm going to save that note for when I'm coaching. Nice thumbs up there from uh, Andy Baker. <laughs> Looking very calm and on his uh, amateur debut. Always good to see. Wow, it didn't hurt him much. He's back. Yeah, he's bounced around. He's a, I, my, you know, a graze of the cup just to make sure the boys are all right and then back to work. Absolutely. Let's see what if Baker can keep his uh, technique going and just keep throwing those punches. His boxing looks very crisp. I mean, Williams is looking, I mean, he turns, he's looking to throw from the sides, taking a very sort of a different stance. But he's throwing a lot of kicks, but I don't think kicks are good in this because he's in boxing range. He needs to throw some more punches. To the body with that left from Andy Baker. Yeah, Baker looks very relaxed now, very comfortable. Oh, another combo. Lead uppercut, fall. Oh, and he drops his hands and smiles. It's oh, that one landed. Nice two punch combo there. And again, Williams Wait, is. Did like he just give him the DX crotch chop before he came off the cage there? Quite possibly. That was amazing. Oh, uh, that these punches are. Oh, and another low, and that one hurt. I don't know. I thought that looked like it went to the leg. I. Oof. We I'm will, not we shy. Won't, we won't know. We won't know. I no. thought the knee landed on the leg. But it made me cringe when it landed. So Okay, maybe I just didn't see it then. That's a shame, really, because he's doing so well. Absolutely. There was no intention in that. No, of it, course if, not. It landed, if it landed south of the border, it, was, it slipped. <laughs> yep. You got five, mate. The fighter's got a few more minutes. Neil didn't seem too impressed there with the uh, no with the saying he didn't land there. You're not going to get one over on Neil. All this this guy has been there and done it. He's been there at the top level. One of the in best referees with easily in the country, if not in the in the in the sport in general. That's Again, it. We're back uh, off. Fair play to Williams for getting back in there after that blow. Absolutely. I mean, it it, it looked for all intents and purposes like like it landed and. Again, it's uh, Baker's boxing here that's making the oh. difference. I wonder if Williams, he seems a bit more urgent now. Maybe he realizes he needs to start throwing yeah, back. And, and, and he, uh, the, these shots, are, they're, they're landing, and each one is stinging a little bit more than the last. And it's winning him the rounds. Oh. It's Again, he keeps rounds. turning, he turns his shoulder in. and I think Williams needs to try and get this down if he can. I, I think, yeah, I, you don't want to keep eating those. And with the, with the fact he's been caught in the groin as well, those body shots are really going to hurt, I think, even more. And again. Oh, nice but, overhand right there. But, is, you know, is that is that more and more the way this fight is, is, is starting to go, that Baker is going to land those punches and those punches and bunches, and Williams is now looking more and more for that one-shot kill? It's so de it's, it's obviously not a good tactic, but if you do land that one shot, and he is capable of it. Absolutely. But then when you throw wild, you end up in positions like this with Baker now on, takes his back. Straight into half guys. Well, straight to full mount. Full there, mount. Look. Just gonna work the hands off the head. There's nothing there. Now he's gonna range down some shots. Yeah, George looks very vulnerable here now. We've just seen a fight stopped in a similar position now. So if he doesn't move, the referee will stop this fight. I mean, for, let's be fair. A lot of those punches bouncing off the gloves, going off the cover, not getting now. Ooh, they now these ones aren't. These are the ones They're that the he's got to be careful about the back yeah. of the head. Right, stop. Back of the head. And we're calling time again. He did catch in the back of the head. He caught him three times there, solid back of the head. This is it though, they're, they're starting out, it's his first fight. He's not been in, the, in that situation before, but. Again, I'm not sure, and none of this has been doing, done with intent. None of it's been done to try and, no, it's you know, end the fight early. It it's overzealous. It, 
They were to the back of the head. I mean, we've got a good view of those shots here. Absolutely. They were right there. And uh, Nails giving them the warning. You know, next time there'll be a point. Yeah, that's fair enough. But again, Williams has also managed to, you know, get himself a, yeah. a little bit of a, a respite and with only a few seconds left to the end of the round. I'll tell you what, he's looking very good for his amateur debut. He's two rounds up. He's, uh, he's outboxed him. I'd love to yeah. be interesting to see a, a punch landed combo here. I mean, a uh, stat, we, don't, we obviously don't get that here, but the amount of punches he's landed, especially compared to what George has landed, it's, it's, it's going to be a big difference. And George keeps kind of trying, it almost looks like he's trying to throw like the lead elbow, but it's amateur, so he's turning his yeah. body and... Uh, he can't do that. No, I think he... I think the, you know, my advice has got to be, you know, these first two rounds, you, you've been in there, but you, you've been being pipped to the post. Maybe it's time to look for that takedown and yeah. see if you can't secure some ground and pound or a submission. I don't even think as well, you look at the rounds with the way it's going, I wouldn't be surprised, we won't know, of course, but I wouldn't be surprised if there was 10-8 rounds in there. No. Because he has been landing so many punches. With the yeah. new scoring system now as well, of course, it's different for the judges. Yeah, uh, yeah. and three-minute rounds uh, as well. Yeah. go let's see how george can do see he needs he needs to change something drastic here yeah i think there needs to be a bit of urgency coming out of uh williams now yeah whatever he's he's a tough lad there's no doubt but he is not winning this fight and he does need a stoppage now if he wins this round it's not going to be enough to win this fight you know some of the you know you take a look at baker's legs and you know some of those low kicks have you know done some damage done some marks but that would be about the extent of it yeah the and again, eats that boxing. big body kick. The story of this fight here, the difference is Baker's boxing. He's, his boxing has been so, and even now, his boxing's been so good. And we know UTC likes to strike, of course, anyway, but... Uh, oh, again. there we... But again, how tough is when he mixes it up with knees to the body, then the head. Williams, Williams just throwing back. that right hand back and... Head kick. He looked... He look, well, does he look tired? He's taking deep he's breaths. Taken he's taking deep still... breaths. I think he is tired. No. Oh! He does look tired. He needs to charge him now, though. Yeah, he needs he, he needs to be put in the fight where he wants it and now. And this fight at distance, this fight in the pocket. You can't question Williams' heart. He's got massive heart, but he is losing this fight. Uh, and if he doesn't change what he's doing, he's not going to get he's not going to get anything out of this fight. Absolutely, it's almost like he's looking to survive now to the end of the round. Absolutely. Oh, that was a nice right hand thrown. He's not going to win holding against the cage. No, nope. he needs to throw a strike. Yeah, take down as straight to the straight to the stomach for? there. Those strikes. And Baker just rolls him off, Very starting to control the head now. Very impressive debut here by Baker. He's, there you go. He pulls him down to the ground as well. He's going to Very nice. Into the side control. Yeah, he's, he's past the legs. He was past the legs as he went down. He's still past the legs. Williams is trying to hook that leg, but that's not going to stop um, Baker from doing what he's wanting Looking to do Looking to there. crucifix that arm as well. Caught the arm yeah. underneath the right leg. I mean, that's that's just that's an, uh, that's a horrible position to be he's, caught in. He's holding his arm, though. If he could release his arm, he could look to, look to punch. Ah, uh, there that's we go. Idea. He can't punch with his right, he needs to throw with his left now. But again, control straight into that full guard, full mount, sorry. And now he's postured up, and this is a bad, bad place for George Williams to be head stacked up against the cage with Baker sitting on his chest, looking to land some ground and pound. Yeah, Williams is tired at this stage, but I don't know if he's going to be able to get out of this position. I think Baker's just going to throw down, throw down, keep throwing punches, and he'll, he'll ride this fight out now. Baker's Abs had a great performance. Yeah, this is, uh, I mean, you can, hard to believe a debut. Yeah, and it's good for him because he's, he's got to do the ground and the, and the striking. Great experience for him. Oh, and he's, and he's rolling into fight. the arms. He got the arm of the triangle he's there. Triangle. Beautiful transition. That Ten seconds left. And the tap! And he takes it! Wow. Another Six seconds the before the end of the third round, and Baker secures the triangle submission for his debut win. Over a very tough opponent as well. Fantastically tough, tough opponent, opponent, who is still smiling for the love of Pete. Yeah, very impressive. Tough, very impressive tough, Baker. tough. Ladies and gentlemen, your appreciation, please, for both our fighters in the cage this evening.
And so we have a winner. Two minutes and 52 seconds into round number three. Your winner by a triangle choke in the red corner, Andy Baker. And your appreciation, please, for George Williams. Andy Baker, I keep talking to guys making their debut today, but I, I gotta say that was as professional as a debut as I've ever seen. Thank you. In that first round, were you wondering what it would take to drop this kid? You, yeah. You didn't bring a kitchen sink, so you ended with a triangle. I had to. The, guy, the guy's got an iron chin. Fair play to him. Thank you for fighting me. Can't wait to do it again. Again, this was a very, very professional performance for a debut. Was there any frustration at all, or did you know what you were getting into with Williams in terms of his toughness? I met his, I think, uncle earlier. He told me about his chin. I tested it. Man, that guy's got an iron chin. I put everything. It hurt him, but he still stays up. That's the thing. So I had to take him down at the end and get a submission finish. So I didn't want to leave it to the judges and lose. So. I had to finish somehow, some way. And with five seconds left, eh? phenomenal. Look, this was a great performance. There's got to be some people you want to thank. There's got to be some training partners and coaches, please. First of all, I, love, I want to thank Joe Still Cummins for giving me this opportunity. It means a lot to me. Thank you, Dave. Anytime. Thank you, everyone at UTC. Thank you, everyone who's been on my journey. Thank you. My family over there, support my friends over there. I love I'm just so thankful for everything, I feel blessed. Andy, it was a pleasure watching you perform tonight. We look forward to seeing you in the cage again. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Great, great. Thank you.